Good morning. It is very early. It is about 10 to 8 in the morning. I'm in the Audi's car park. It's also like the snow and ice never happened because the temperature overnight has gone from about 1 degree to 13. So it feels incredibly mild, although very wet. Uh, and I'm in, did I say I'm in the Audi's car park? I'm here to do the final pre-Christmas shop, not the Christmas vegetables and things. I'll get those from the local farm shop on Thursday. But this is all the stuff, the other stuff like cream to go with our Christmas pudding and crisps and festive nibbles and bread for the freezer and stuff like that and food that we need for the week. And I'm here doing it really early on a Monday morning because from this point, well, from this point last week, really, until Christmas, the shops are complete insanity. Uh, so the earlier, the better. Get in, get home. Phoebe's going to be at home today because she she really, really is horribly unwell. She really took a turn for the worse last night. But I think that's quite normal, isn't it? When you're feeling ill, you always feel worse in the evening and overnight. Um, and she, it's all here. Glands, throat, sore. She's running a very slight temperature but she's feeling just grim. So I've just called the school to let her know that she won't be in today. She was due to be in today and until midday tomorrow, but I don't think she's gonna be able to do it. And she's got so many fun things planned this week. I'm really hoping she rallies, makes enough of a recovery to still be able to do them. Poor Phoebe. Lilia's working today, which she's got a really good shift, 10 till half four, um, so that's good. So I'll be running around dropping people. And I'll take you along with me another festive vlogmas day let's see let's see where it takes us i am back from the shops and before i put the kettle on and make a cup of tea i've got to put everything away i thought i'd show you some of the bits i got for christmas so i got some brie and some blue cheese, some Stilton. That's for our sort of over the Christmas week cheese munching. Uh, clementines. Um, they tend, you tend to see clementines more than satsumas these days, but they are lovely and sweet. You've got to have clementines. I've already got lots. I'm averaging two to three a day at the moment. I love clementines. I was going to get some Mackey's ice cream because we love it, but Aldi's are doing their sort of own version of it. So I'm going to pop this in the freezer <laughs> and that'll be nice to have with our Christmas pudding or just for dessert and things. You can hear Phoebe suffering in the background. Single cream for having, I don't really like cream, but I do quite like it when I'm having my Christmas pudding. Um, and it's quite handy for that. And the good thing about single cream is you can have it with you know, with your dessert. You can also use it for cooking. So anything left over I can use if we're making like a curry or something like that. So, or pasta or something. So that's going in the fridge. I didn't actually check the date. Oh, 27th. Loads of time to have that. You're doing a haul of what you bought at Asus. Just the, just anything festive. <laughs> of course. Lilia is mocking me for showing you what I bought at Aldi's, <laughs> oh but that's fair enough. It is. We are scraping the barrel here. <laughs> Finally, I got a, a, a gammon, a gammon joint, which is a ham joint basically. And this is perfect for lazy days when you don't really want to do much. You can put it in the slow cooker and just let it do its thing. Actually, the date on this is 7th of January, so I can just put it in the fridge rather than the freezer. Do you know how to cook a ham? Put it in the slow cooker. On what setting and with what? Go and get ready for work. Oh, it's a mess. I have to put up with these amateurs. Amateurs. You all right? Yeah. Come, come sit here. Phoebe's going to help me show a couple of things and open a present. My ear hurts. Your ear hurts now. This one. Mia's wondering where you've gone. Mia's been at Phoebe's side the last two days looking after her. Don't kick the poof because you'll bobble the camera. So I've had a little thing in the post and before I open it, I wanted to show some, so I showed earlier in Vlogmas a beautiful card that my friend Elaine made for me. And I wanted to show you some other lovely cards that I've been sent and kept because they were just so <coughs> unusual. So this one was from Ruth, uh, I think last year actually, and I've kept it because it's a 3D card. Do you want to press the, button, press the button there? Yeah. yeah, if I hold it up. So it's the Nutcracker. Where's the button? Oh, 
Hay una pista de cabeza. So that was amazing, isn't it? Let me put that up. And then also, I think last year, I got this. Who was this from? I can't remember who it was from. But basically, it came like this, and then it opens like that. And it's a snow globe. So clever. So I kept that as well. Going in and out of focus. It's so dark today, isn't it? It's cold and wet and dark and windy. I can play that because I believe that the uh, Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy is in the public domain. What? And then I got this beautiful card from Susan. It just turned up and look, it's got two Peggy Sues in the snow and that is quite accurate for what's been happening the last week, if not today. It's oh. called Winter Chickens by Patty Gay and Noah. Or maybe that's the name of the chickens. Oh no, Patty Gay is the name of the artist and Noah is her son. I'll do that if you want to pause and find out a bit more about the artist. <laughs> okay. Right, don't press that anymore because otherwise people are, like won't be able to hear what we're saying. So anyway, this is also from Elaine who made me the gorgeous card that's in the kitchen. And look! She oh, made it! I can't see it. It sits up like that and it's a little snow globe. What do you say? It says to Ali, Dan, Lily and Phoebe wishing you the happiest of Christmases oh. and all the very best for 2023. Yes, but she's also sent us a little gift. So I'm going to put that up here actually. Pop that there. Um, so it's, and it says to Ali, Dan, Lily and Phoebe wishing you a very happy Christmas. So sorry Elaine if we're supposed to put this under the tree and save it for Christmas Day but we need cheering up. I also need to go. I need to go to my appointment. Oh, yeah. Ooh, seeds it says. I love this recyclable wrapping. Okay. So there's some seeds in here. She's a recycled. Look at that. Um, she's very eco-friendly. It's a recycled box. Yes, yes. Ali's veg, veg pot, pot selection. selection. What? Has she made this? I chose these varieties for you. They should all be suitable for pot growing. Give you a lovely, colorful selection of veg and be generally lummy, yummy. I also made a sewing chart for you. Look, she's, oh, this is lovely. <coughs> Elaine's a much better knowledgeable gardener than I am. Anybody is actually. Do you remember the year when we had loads of tomatoes? I do, that was lockdown year. I grew nothing but tomatoes. Okay. So what have we got? Wow, there's, this is amazing. A lot. So the first one is French bean rainbow mix. And there they are, the French bean. Pea tom thumb. Yellow tom pear, tomato yellow pear. I love these. These are my favourite types. Red salad leaves. Swiss chard. Bright lights. Oh, my favourite. Chantenay carrots. Oh, we're going to have a garden full of wonderful things. Runner beans. Oh, look what well, this is called. <gasps> purple spring onion. Lilia. Lilia's oh. a purple onion. She's a purple onion. And tomato indigo rose. Wow, what an <coughs> amazing gift. Thank you, Elaine. Oh. I want to be named after an onion. Yeah, that would be nice. Or a carrot. Right, Actually, I need to dash. Apple. I like apples. So are you going to snuggle up on the sofa for half an hour while I go to my appointment, yeah? Uh-huh. Right. Let me show you guys Mia. Look at her. Oh, hi, Mia. Are you happy that Argentina won? Yeah? Oh. I am back in the car at a funny angle. Oh, that's my phone. My phone is perpetually on silent. Sometimes I knock it off silent and then I hear all my reminders going off and wonder what's going on. I'm back in the car 
because I've just come out from having my third laser treatment. I have a tattoo on my left shoulder that I got when I was 19 of Tinkerbell. And I love my tattoo, I really do, but it's so old now uh, that it's gone completely blurry. It looked awful. Uh, so I was thinking about getting it redone, but in order to get it redone, I would have had to have a couple of laser treatments to just fade it slightly. So I figured I'm just going to get it removed. And then if I want to have another tattoo, I can start from scratch. Or if I want to just leave it and not have another tattoo, I can do that. And it's, um, it's every six weeks and I'm going to have to have about, that was my third session and I'm probably going to have to have a couple more, but it's working really, really well. I'm not going to share with you how it looks because it's pretty gruesome <laughs> after the first, uh, 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 for the first, oh, sorry if you're wobbly, you are balanced so precariously on the little air vent. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it looks pretty gruesome for the first couple of days, really sort of red and swollen, but honestly right now I've just had the treatment, I can't feel it at all. Uh, the worst thing is in about a week's time it'll really itch uh, and that really is the worst thing and having it done, having it done really hurts. <laughs> I don't remember what it felt like to have a tattoo, uh, but I can tell you that getting one removed is very sore indeed. Anyway, I'm going to dash back now. I've only been out in the house for about 20 minutes. It's such a quick treatment. I'm going to dash back to Phoebe now and also got to do some editing and some housework and some tidying and I've got to clean the kitchen and I better eat something actually I need some lunch Dan has come home early from work the trains were all over the place so I went and got him but he's now here which means I can go and get feet uh, go and get Lily without worrying about Phoebe yep. so that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to see how bad it is at the shopping place it's going to be awful because I might try and grab a couple of bits but I think it's going to be horrific but you're also about to walk straight to school run, I just saw that. I was like, oh, yeah, better go. You better get move on. All right, All let's right. go. See you later. Have Lilia. It is so windy. It is. This isn't the end. She is living her best okay. life. How are you feeling, Phoebe? Good. Yeah. Lilia is. Um, you've been redoing your nails, oh. haven't you? And she, they look amazing. She bought, she treated herself, because now she's earning money. Yeah. She can treat herself to some things. So she's bought herself some really lovely nail polish from Essie. And they're so looking good. very festive. Anyway, I just came on to talk to you and seeing as Lily was here, I thought I'd force her in. Oh, I haven't opened my oven. No, you haven't. Do you want to open my Bridgerton one with me? I'll open it. Yeah, and then I'll come and take it. I've just said that thinking you've seen Bridgerton, but obviously you haven't. No, I haven't. I'm going to open my tea up in later. I just had my, um, just before I went up to sort Phoebe out in the bowl, I had my tea from yesterday, the fruit party. It was lovely. I don't know what I filmed today. It's been a really, really, like, busy <laughs> couple of days. Hi. Someone heard the rustle of advents. <laughs> <gasps> The, the dark, the dark walk. walk. Does that mean? Oh, it's um, it's a, a, it's a dark part of the garden where couples go to walk together, unchaperoned. Lilia. 
Does that mean that they kiss? No, not if they're proper ladies and gentlemen, no. It's beautiful. Oh, I love that. La, 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 Dark walk. La. Having fun over there? Yeah. Now I've got some more to open. How one, exciting. One is... <laughs> Lilia, I, I sense that you don't share my excitement for my honour. I didn't mean to be sarcastic. With you were quite sarcastic. can't believe it. You're a crochet. People have been asking how you're getting on with your crochet. I haven't been doing it. You haven't, have you? No. But she's got grand plans. She wants to make a ripple blanket. So I, I think do. that's going to be your project for next year, isn't it? It is. But she's up and away with it. I showed her a few stitches and you're all over it, aren't I you? Am. I also, I, once I've done my crochet, once I've done my blanket, I want to learn how to do amigurumi too. I can teach you amigurumi. Oh, so fun. Oh, right. So, oh, this, so this is Merry Music themed from Green Lumpkin Yarns. And my Bridgerton one was from Bumblebee Acres Fiber Farm. Just in case you haven't been watching every day of Vlogmas, I've said this, I think I've said that every single day. Oh, I need this. Organic lemon and ginger. Lovely. And the song lyric is, it's covered all over with purple and pool. Sounds like something Cliff Richard would say. Isn't Some, something from Cliff nice. Richard, maybe. They're all Christmas songs. Um, quite often, when I don't know, everyone comes up trumps in the comments. So let me know if you do know. What was it last time? It was the Wombles. Oh, the Wombles. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. We've got a real purple theme going on today because the um, the Bridgerton one was purpley as well. Let's see. So this is one from last year. So I had just a few of the Christmas Carol ones and then Suzanne gifted me some as well and I've made my own little advent this year. So these are Christmas Carol themed. Oh. oh no, this is purple as well. Wow. And I've chosen this one completely at random. Oh, isn't that funny? Oh, and it's a purple wild berry tea bag. The stars have and aligned. And the stars have aligned. Ah, oh, and the yarn is Belle, which of course is Scrooge's girlfriend when he was young. We need to watch that Scrooge cartoon on Netflix. We do. There's a new Scrooge animation, isn't there, on Netflix? Yes, there oh, I can't believe that. It's all the purple tonight. Amazing. So we're going to go and watch. We've just <gasps> we're going to go and watch so Spirited. So we've heard such good things about it. I love Ryan Reynolds with my whole heart. Yeah. Yeah. I love Ryan Reynolds so much. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go and watch him then. <laughs> 